Hello and welcome back to another training DVD that we're trying to sort out for you in regard to tachographs. We have already discussed the analog tachograph chart um, on the clock type. Okay, um, a lot of people are asking um, that they drive another, a different type of vehicle that has an analog tachograph, but it isn't of the clock type. And what they are speaking about is this here, folks. Okay, this here is what we call the cassette type. It's an analog tachograph, but it's an electronic tachograph. Okay. So the same functions on the screen are very similar to the now digital tachograph. If we take a look at the screen, when we put the driver comes in and puts the ignition on, the screen must illuminate. We have today's date, we have today's time in 24 hour clock, we have the mileage of the vehicle in kilometers per hour, and we have driver one and their activity, driver two and their activity. Okay folks, if we look at the screen, we see that really there's only three main buttons for the driver to worry about um, on a daily basis. That's the eject button, driver one, and the possibility of driver two. So now really, if you're a single man driving, well then you're only going to concentrate on these two switches. Right folks, let's get a look. How do we get a tachograph chart in here, okay? Very simply, we press the eject button, and the cassette pops out and we pull it over and let it down. We have our inspection dates and our inspection plaques clearly marked on the inside the tachograph for the driver. So folks, we grab our analog tachograph chart, upside down, like that. And all we're worrying about at the moment is our pear shape, again, to go over the center lobe, and this time to insert our chart in under that bracket. So folks, we slide the chart up onto the bracket, we align it with the center lobe, like so, and that's us ready to go. Okay, we're always facing the tachograph chart with the writing going up. We simply insert the cassette back into the tachograph head with thumb pressure, push the tachograph cassette back in, and now we see that driver one is now indicating that they have a tachograph chart fitted. Okay, folks, very simply, we do the same again, away we go. Let's talk about, first of all, we've put our tag graph chart in. We all now know that we must carry out a daily walk around check, and we must record this. What we simply do, folks, is we press driver number one until activity mode changes to the desired one we want. Press once, POA, period of availability. Press it twice, cross hammers, other walk. We now jump out of the vehicle, do our daily walk around check, fill in the appropriate paperwork, back into the vehicle and we're ready to go. Alright, now the beauty about these folks is very similar to the digital tachograph. As soon as we move the vehicle forward, our activity mode would automatically go into steering wheel symbol, indicating that we are now recording our driving. Away we go up the road and do whatever we have to do. We pull in, we take our 15 minute break for example, we now come to driver number one and we must press it until we change the activity mode. So, driver number one, press it once, we're now on brake or rest. We take our 15, we take our half an hour, we take our 45, we take our nine hours, whatever we have to do. And again, folks, the beauty is you jump back into the truck after your brake and you simply drive off. And this will go into the steering wheel symbol indicating we're driving. Then we stop folks into a yard. When we are tipping a load or lifting a load or we are helping in any way, we must then select other walk. We do this simply by pressing driver number one as many times as we have to to indicate cross hammers for other work. And we get on with our job, back get back into the lorry and drive off again. And it will once again revert back to the steering wheel. Remember folks, this wee symbol is in the steering wheel. This is the only symbol that we have inserted a tachograph chart into the tachograph head. Another um, important point to make folks is that on this type of tachograph, um, although it is, comes through Siemens, this type is fitted into a CF DAF at the moment, and the manufacturer has spec'd it that every time you stop the vehicle or bring the vehicle to a rest, it will select bed. Okay, that's not a problem, that's great, it's um, not eating into any other time. But it's one thing to be very, very mindful of, folks, because if we were to pull into um, a destination to load or to tip, we would have to stop the vehicle and adjust this accordingly, to put this to other work. We would get out then, we would load or unload the vehicle, wash the vehicle, 
do any other jobs that we have to do in relation to, to our day's work. Again, folks, the enforcement authorities have the powers to enter your vehicle to see what mode you're on. So, for example, if you brought the vehicle to a stop and bed came up and you jumped out and you opened the curtains and you were even standing holding the curtains open to let the forklift driver take, a, take the load off, you are actively um, assisting in the unloading of the vehicle. And therefore, if enforcement were to enter your cab, they would see that you have it on bed and therefore you're not using the tachograph um, activity modes correctly. Okay, so just remember folks, we must press this to POA if we need it and to other work if we need it. So folks, that's that tachograph. Um, it's very simple, nothing to be afraid of um, and simply it is just an analog chart. Again folks, we'll say we've stopped the vehicle now. Okay, the ignition must be on and we want to eject our card for the evening. So we're going to press eject until the cassette pops out. It might take a couple of seconds to load or unload the information. And we slide it out and it folds down on its own hinges. Okay folks, um, just an important note as well. Uh, we've spoken about it already um, in the last analog tachograph video. I just want to once again mention that if we want to know the compatibility of our chart and our tachograph head, so we can flip over um, our chart for example. We want to see any of the numbers on it. Alright. If it focuses. And we see here that we have E11. Uh, marked in this chart. Okay. Once again folks as I've said. One of the easiest places to get this. Is on our speed limiter notice. Alright. So we can see down there at the bottom. E11 is on, on the speed limiter notice. And therefore instead of fumbling about with the tachograph chart. Um. That's all we need to do.